Hello and welcome to Secure Code Warrior. In this module, we'll be looking at Padding Oracle. We'll explain what a Padding Oracle attack is, its causes and preventions, and some potential hazards. So, what is a Padding Oracle attack? Through a Padding Oracle attack, an attacker is able to decrypt information without knowing the encryption key. If an attacker can determine whether a given encrypted text has valid padding when it is decrypted, this can result in cracking CBC-based symmetric encryption without needing the key. What causes a padding oracle attack? This attack will be possible in cases where an application returns different responses to deciphering messages that gives plain text with valid or invalid padding. To understand padding oracle attack vulnerabilities, let's first go through CBC encryption and decryption. In CBC mode, each block of plain text is XORed with the previous ciphertext block before being encrypted. This way, each ciphertext block depends on all plain text blocks processed up to that point. The CBC decryption process involves a similar set of steps as shown. Now, let's look at the padding oracle attack. In our first example, let's say an attacker has been able to capture encrypted messages. Additionally, the source web application acts as a padding oracle and returns an error message in case a ciphertext has an invalid padding. The attacker has C3 available and can manipulate a cipher CA. When sending CA or C3 to the server, the server will let them know when the padding was wrong. The attacker can loop from 0 to 255 sequentially for every byte in the CA cipher until the oracle says the padding is correct. When the padding is correct, the attacker only has to perform some XOR calculations to derive the value of the last byte of the original plain text. This gives them the last byte of the original message and then they can move on to the second last byte and so on. Padding oracle attacks can have significant impact. An attacker could be able to retrieve plain text sensitive data. Sensitive information typically includes credentials, credit cards, personal data or health records. Leakage of sensitive information could lead to customer loss, reputational or regulatory damages. To prevent padding oracle attacks, developers should use GCM no padding rather than CBC padding mode. Catch all decryption errors and return generic messages instead of reporting specific padding errors. Implement Encrypt Then Mac. In case a cipher arriving at the server was tampered with, it will be dropped before any padding information is leaked. And finally, limit requests coming from the same source. Congratulations, you have now completed this module, Padding Oracle.